So I think we're all used to making the diagnosis of pancreatic cancer on a CT scan. Now on a CT, it tends to be a relatively straightforward diagnosis. You're looking for a hypodense, infiltrative, poorly marginated mass that typically results in upstream pancreatic atrophy, ductal dilatation, and abrupt ductal cutoff. So you're gonna get both pancreatic ductal and common bile duct dilatation. Now on MR, the imaging features are very similar, at least on the post-gadolinium images. The lesions are relatively hypo-enhancing on both the arterial and venous phase images. But it is worth noting, as in this case, that pancreatic cancer is one of those malignancies because of its scarce fibrotic nature that will show some delayed enhancement. So notice that even though the tumor is relatively hypo-enhancing on the early phase images, as you move out later towards the delayed images, the mass does show some delayed enhancement. Now, if you have to rely on non-contrast imaging, it is worth noting that the T2-weighted images tend to be relatively less useful for pancreatic cancer because pancreatic adenocarcinoma can be quite variable, and in many cases, pancreatic cancer can be T2 isointense to the surrounding pancreatic parenchyma. For that reason, it is the T1 pregadolinium images that are the best non-contrast images to utilize as the relatively hypo-intense pancreatic cancer tends to be juxtaposed against the normal high signal, high T1 signal, normal pancreatic parenchyma. So here's a great example of pancreatic adenocarcinoma.